Why is Judge Sarah declaring Ripple as the winner of the case when the truth about the SEC is there in front of her? Since 2017, the SEC has been engaged in acts of corruption that have been documented. Yet, why have they not been punished? Stay tuned till the end of the video to find out. But first, we are giving away 50 XRP coins at the end of the month to one random subscriber to start on their XRP journey. All you need to do is to like the video, subscribe and comment your thoughts on XRP in the comment section. Welcome back XRP Army. Let's grow the XRP Lab community by pressing the like button and subscribing to this channel to stay updated at all times. Today, we have facts from Tay, who has compiled everything related to the Ripple vs the SEC lawsuit. We're going to go through every detail he offered to prove to you that the SEC is operating on someone else's behalf. December 13, 2017. Hinman has a meeting with Lubin and Consensus and lawyers from Sullivan and Cromwell. Clayton Law Firm, Consensus is the market leader in Ethereum software. They allow developers, businesses, and individuals all around the globe to create next-generation apps, construct contemporary financial infrastructure, and access the decentralized web and on December 14, 2017, Matt Korva of Consensus, along with lawyers from Sullivan and Cromwell, state that they are building an alliance with the SEC on January 25, 2018. Clayton meets with Andreessen Horowitz and instructs them to put together a group and write up a memo. Perkins Coy, a member of the Enterprise Ethereum Alliance, leads this group of Ether investors. March 12, 2018. Brad Garlinghouse speaks publicly about Ripple using XRP to replace SWIFT. And on March 26, 2018, Perkins Coy sends Hinman the memo and Safe Harbor proposal. The only crypto asset mentioned in the Safe Harbor is Ether. Then on March 28, 2018, Ether investors meet secretly with Hinman asking for a regulatory free pass from the SEC. And April 19, 2018, the meeting is leaked and at Nathaniel Popper reports Ether investors seek a non-security designation from the SEC. On April 23, 2018, Gary Gensler comments that Ripple ETH and crypto need more regulatory clarity, and on April 23, 2018, SEC meets again with Lubin and Consensus May 10, 2018. On Liz Klaman show Gasparino reports the Brooklyn Project and Consensus along with Ethereum Joseph are working closely with regulators to create a self-regulatory body being sanctioned by the SEC The Brooklyn Project attempts to correct Gasparino report. Gasparino rebukes this attempt and tweets out he knows what he was told by Andrew Keyes about the SEC. On May 12, 2018, Lubin says he is making great strides with regulators on May 24, 2018. Lubin claims he can issue tokens in ways detailed in Hinman speech, which has not yet happened, and on June 8, 2018, Consensus meets with the SEC again and Lubin says the market needs the SEC to scare certain projects away, on June 13, 2018. A memo analyzing whether XRP is a security is passed among the SEC staff and the SEC refuses to turn it over because it's likely inconclusive XRP is a security, on June 14, 2018. Hinman's speech which declares, putting aside the fundraising, of Ethereum ICO, Ether is not a security. After Hinman, Lubin appears on the same stage claiming he, was not able to read through Bill's entire speech, and asks if Hinman, spoke about XRP, at all. The moderator responds that XRP was not mentioned and Lubin replies, that interesting, on June 26, 2018. Garlinghouse notes Coinbase announced it was listing etc. two days before the speech, and on June 26, 2018. Lubin tells the Domino he believes Ripple or XRP is massively overvalued, on July 6, 2018. Lubin says, I drove lots of the legal work. We got a piece of paper in our pocket before we actually launched the token sale. August 19, 2018. Lubin praises the SEC and claims it has given, pretty high-quality clarity, regarding crypto. Lubin adds that Clayton, indicated they would not be grandfathering anybody in, and that the securities law issues are pretty close to resolve. Of course contrast Lubin claims with Hester Pierce criticism regarding the lack of clarity back in 2018 that still exists today. On September 17, 2018, Lubin warns of, a reckoning coming, from the SEC for, certain projects. And on September, 26, 2018, Gary Gensler describes XRP as a currency in the banking sector, on October 15, 2018. 
Lubin says he escaped Ethereum being an unregistered security by creating a reality through words. That is what XRP holders are arguing, that Ethereum should have been handled the same way the SEC is hammering XRP. You could tell that the prejudice began here. October 28, 2018. Nancy Woidis, who participated in the secret meeting in March, disagrees with Hinman that Ether is sufficiently decentralized to not be a security. Wendy Moore of Perkins Coy adds, then why isn't Ripple? XRP Ledger is arguably more decentralized than Ether. January 19, 2019. Lubin says, we are big friends and fans of the SEC. He says the SEC has introduced a new construct called decentralization into their thinking and BTC and Ether are not securities and he states that they have not said the same about other tokens like XRP. Lubin claims to know the SEC is not going to find any tokens other than Bitcoin and Ether to be decentralized, dropping Hinman name as his source of information. The speech of Hinman, which has given a lot of support to Ripple statements. January 2019. Coinbase meets with the SEC and informs them that they have run XRP through their securities framework. Coinbase and its lawyers conclude hashtag XRP is not a security and inform the SEC it plans to list XRP but wants to make sure it's not running of US securities laws. The SEC does not state it believes XRP to be a security and on February 28, 2019, Coinbase lists XRP for trading. This is what Ripple is arguing. If they didn't have an issue back then, why now? What changed their minds? What are your thoughts on this? Leave your thoughts in the comments. On June 19, 2019, Ripple buys 9% stake in MoneyGram with the SEC full knowledge that Ripple will transfer XRP to MoneyGram for cross-border payments and that MoneyGram would likely sell that XRP in the secondary market to XRP holders with no connection to Ripple. September 12, 2019. Nancy Watches admits, most of Hinman's speech was lifted from the investors' proposal and meetings that we had, led by Andreessen and Perkins Coy. September 15, 2019. Lubin admits that at Ether launch, we needed to put out something that we knew was not scalable. August 25 to 28, 2020. Consensus acquires Quorum and Lubin says his Quorum acquisition offering is an interbank information network that's similar to what Swift does and adds that consensus supports JP Morgan-owned stablecoin, JPM coin. A direct competitor to Ripple and XRP. On October 6, 2020, Lubin admits he has a regulatory advantage, and claims, Bitcoin and Ether arrived before regulators were paying attention, and, we were fortunate enough to frame our token as a utility token. He says all altcoins are spectacularly disadvantaged when compared to ETH. October 2020, one River bets $1 billion on Bitcoin and Ether. November 20, 2020. Vitalik Buterin, co-founder of Ethereum states, we are getting rid of the network proof-of-work mechanism to replace it with one entirely based on proof-of-stake, and admits it's still a leap that people have to take. And on December 22, 2020. Walking out the SEC door Clayton votes for and directs the case against Ripple his client competitor, claiming all XRP sales the last seven and a half years constitute investment contracts with Ripple including all secondary market sales with no connection to Ripple. Clayton goes to one river to push Bitcoin and Ether. At the SEC Hinman collected $15 million from his law firm a board member of Enterprise Ethereum Alliance, and is now a partner at Andreessen $2.2 billion crypto fund, the same investors who helped write the speech. These are the facts and they are not in dispute. John E. Deaton The facts clearly implies that the SEC high-ranking officials were bribed to initiate the case against Ripple. So, what are your thoughts on whether Ripple will win the case? XRP has plainly done nothing illegal here rather, they have been interfered with by Ether, Lubin, and the SEC. All of whom are financially motivated to attempt to bring them down since doing so would give Ether blockchain supremacy and the SEC the ability to take down anybody in the decentralized world. But Ripple has one advantage. XRP is a global currency, and if they attempt to cut them in the US, they have the rest of the world. And only the United States will be left behind due to the insufficiency of Ether's technology. Make sure to subscribe and give us a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video. Kindly note that the prices of cryptocurrencies frequently change, so by the time you watch this video, it might have changed to a whole new value. The information provided in this video does not constitute investment advice, financial advice, trading advice, 
or any other sort of advice, and you should not treat any of the content as such. The content in this video is for educational purposes only and hence should not be considered financial advice. Do conduct your due diligence and consult your financial advisor before making any investment decisions.